Are you moving to New Jersey? Here are five online resources you should check out before you start your search. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, you should really consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every Monday. Today we're going to be discussing the top five online resources I share with my clients that are moving to the area. You know, our job as a realtor is to be the best possible resource for our clients. And at times we want to be able to share information with them that we actually can't. Did you know that as a realtor, we are actually held to a standard of ethics? And there are certain things that we can and cannot say when working with clients. For example, when I have a lot of clients moving into the area, one of the first questions they ask me is, what is a good area? What is a school, good school system? What's the best neighborhood to live in? And honestly, there's really no great way for me to answer that because according to the ethics that I'm bound to, I can't say what is a good or bad neighborhood. I can't say what is a good or bad school. And the reality is, even if I could, my definition of good and bad and your definition of good and bad might actually be different. But as a realtor, it is my job to be a resource. So if I can't actually share my opinion with you about a good or bad area, good or bad school, where you should or shouldn't live, what I can do is be a resource of information. I can point you in the right direction to find the information you do need when deciding on an area to move to for you and for your family. So I have five online resources that I typically share with my new clients and I thought why not share them with all of you. These are websites you can go to that have collected a lot of data about areas, schools, crime statistics, demographics, and so on and so forth. I've even included a, a resource for anybody that's looking to commute to New York City and if you stick around to the end I've also got an app for your phone you're going to want to check out. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, you should be able to see my computer screen now. And this is the first website resource I'd like to share with you, city-data.com. And the reason I like to start here with my clients is because really this is an all-encompassing resource. It probably is going to give you way more information than you actually need, but it's a good way to sort of narrow down and identify the key factors that are going to be important to you. So I'm going to give you a quick example. I'm going to show you, we're going to type in Woodbridge, New Jersey, since that's where I'm located. And what you're going to see here is it's going to start by giving you some general information, you know, um, genders and ages and um, some slight demographics some slight things on the housing. And really, you can just scroll down here and it's going to give you a wealth of information. It's going to give you the demographics. It's going to give you the crime statistics, which I always find that those are two of the most important things people care about. It's going to give you home values and medium incomes and occupations. If you are moving um, to a bridge outside the area, maybe from the north or the south or somewhere where the weather might be different than here in New Jersey, you can look at the average climate here in Woodbridge during you know the different times of the year. And you can really just keep scrolling. There's so much information. I'm not going to go through it all um, individually with you, uh, but probably more information than you ever, ever need. So definitely use this as a first resource for you when you are narrowing down the different areas to get a great overview. The second online resource I'd like to share with you is greatschools.org. This is really great if you have um, school-age children or plan to have school-age children and, and you want to know what is the school rating, what is the school like, what is the school district. Again, it's one of the most common questions I get is this is a great website and resource for you to jump onto. You can search for schools either by city, zip, address, or school. So what I like about that is if you are looking at a specific house, you can actually type in the address for the house and see which schools are assigned to that specific address. So we're going to do an example here. I have a home that is up for sale in Woodbridge. We're just going to type this in and it's in Islam and we're going to see exactly which schools are assigned to that address. You can see here we've got the elementary, the middle, and the high school. And if you zoom out here, you can see these are all the different school ratings that they have in their system. So you can actually click in and learn about each school specifically. You can click around to see which other schools in the area um, you might want to look into being associated with. And if you go to their About Us section in school information, you can actually read up on exactly how they handle their ratings. 
and what they use when determining their ratings for each school. So that way you actually know how to utilize the information and how to make the best decisions for you about what you think is a good or not so good school that you want your children to attend. This is the third online resource I'd like to share with you, niche.com. Now I've recently come across this website, but I have to say I'm really enjoying using it and recommending it to my clients. What I really like about niche.com is that I feel like it takes a lot of the same information that we just saw on our first resource, city-data.com, and it provides it to you in a lot more condensed format, and it's also a little bit more visually pleasing to the eye. So if you're somebody that doesn't love looking at charts and graphs and lots and lots of numbers, and you just want to look at the quick information, and you want it something you know that's a little bit easier, nicer to look at, niche.com is a great website for you to go to instead of city dash data.com. So uh, same as the other sites, you're just going to go on here and you're going to type in a town. Maybe this is a town that you're looking to move to, you're looking to explore, you're not really sure. We're going to put in Woodbridge again. And what niche.com does is it gives it an overall rating for the area and then it rates it in subcategories here. And then as you scroll down, you can look at each of the subcategories and exactly what information they're providing. So you can see um, housing statistics, crime statistics, diversification, uh, medium household income, it lists some of the schools. And the one thing that makes niche.com different than the first resource is that it actually provides reviews from Woodbridge residents. So just like you would shop for anything out there, let's say something on Amazon, you look at the reviews or Yelp for businesses, different things like that. You can also see reviews here on the website from people that live in Woodbridge and what they actually think. So that's something that's really um, different than the first resource that I really, really like. So if you're looking to explore a brand new town that you know nothing about, I would definitely recommend you put this resource on your list to search in. The fourth resource I'm gonna share with you is walkscore.com. If you are somebody that's moving from the city out to the suburbs, so in our area that's moving maybe from one of the five boroughs in New York City out to New Jersey, being in close proximity to local businesses and restaurants and shopping might be something that's important to you. You may even be able to have enough stuff close to you that you could walk to it, or even being able to walk to public transportation might be important to you. If it is, this is a great resource for you. You can search by a general town and get an overall walkability score in a town. But what I like is if you can actually pick a specific address, maybe this is a house you're looking to purchase or maybe just one in your target area. So what I've done here is I've typed in, this is a home that is currently active for sale in um, Woodbridge. And if you search by the house, it's actually gonna give you a lot of really great information. It's gonna give you a walking score. On this map, it's gonna show you all of the different local businesses you could walk to or bike to if you like to bike as well. And as you scroll down, it's gonna give you some more information. Um, this is a map showing you exactly where the house is located. And if you were to walk, where could you get within 20 minutes? It's gonna show you um, public transportation too. So as I said earlier, if you want to be able to walk to public transportation, here you can see all the different bus stops that are um, nearby. And it also gives you the train line for New Jersey Transit that you are near if you are gonna be commuting to New York City. So if you wanna be able to walk and bike and take public transportation, this is another great resource for you to determine if the area you're looking at is right for you. The fifth and final resource I'm going to share with you is if you're somebody that's looking to utilize public transportation, uh, in most cases that's going to be for your daily commute up to New York City, then you're going to want to familiarize yourself with this website and the New Jersey Transit system if you're not already. Here's their main website. If you are looking to see what a commute might be, let's say you're looking to move to where I am, Woodbridge, New Jersey, you're going to type in Woodbridge and you're going to be commuting to New York Penn Station, let's say. So you're going to pull up New York Penn Station and you're just going to hit plan your trip and it's going to give you um, a general sense of what is going to be available for that route um, for you. So if you look down here, we're going to hit show map. You're going to actually see what the route looks like. So Woodbridge to New York. It's going to give you how much it would cost and it's going to give you exactly how much, you know, what the time would be. If you were to leave right now, you know, when would you get there? That kind of thing. So this is just going to give you some general information about different routes. If you want to go back to the main screen, you can look at an actual map of the transit system. So if you pull up a map, you might be thinking to yourself, well, I don't know exactly where I want to live. I want to see exactly where the train goes in an easy format. This is how you do it. So the big circles here are your main hubs. 
New York Penn Station, Secaucus, Hoboken, Newark Broad Street, and Newark Penn Station. And then each one of these colored lines is a train line and each dot with the town is where there is a train station. So you might want to use this as a general overview just to kind of see exactly where it is you want to live. Um, these dots that are on two different lines means you actually have two different train lines that go to that stop. And it's um, kind of cool to see which ones go through the different major hubs. If you only have to go to Hoboken, maybe you don't want to take you know, a certain line that goes here because you might have to transfer and things like that. So this is a good overview of the entire New Jersey transit rail system. Actually, just going down here, there's actually a train that goes from Philadelphia to Atlantic City, for those of you that might not be aware of that. If you go over back to the main website and you go over to services, you can scroll down to station information and you can actually look up the information on a train station in the town you're looking to move to. Again, we'll continue with the Woodbridge example. If you go to the Woodbridge train station, it's going to show you on the map exactly where it's located. It's going to show you all the different parking lot options that are available, and it's going to go through the information about parking. It's also going to tell you which commuter train is associated with that station. You can click into the different lots to see exactly how many spaces there are and what it would cost and whether or not a permit is required for those parking lots as well. And if you plan on riding your bike, it'll tell you if bike racks are available. If you go back to the home screen, you can also go to tickets and go down to train tickets. And you can get some information about all the different ways you can purchase a train ticket, depending on what your commuting needs are, whether it's one way, monthly, weekly, 10 trips or student discounts, things like that. And when you look at each route specifically, it, they're all going to have their own pricing associated with it. So it's another way to do some research and figure out what your monthly commuting budget is going to look like in this change when you move out to New Jersey. The sixth resource I'm going to give you is the New Jersey Transit app for your phone if you plan on commuting. You can go into the home screen here and put your departing station for the town you're looking to move to. And you can put your arriving station. So for this example, we're going to use New York Penn Station again. And you can click into that and see exactly all the trains that are available for you, um, you know, the times and the durations. You can also go back to the home screen, click that arrow in the middle and switch the reverse so you can see what your commute home would look like and how many trains and what times there are available as well. Down at the bottom, you can click a map and you can see the overall map of the New Jersey Transit um, lines like we saw on their website as well. This is the mobile version. You can also click the advisories button at the bottom and see if there's any delays or advisories on any of the particular train lines you're looking into. You can actually also set a favorite route on the home screen as well for quick access. So you're going to go to the route that you are looking to select, click the plus at the top, go back, do the reverse for your commute home and do the same thing by clicking the plus button at the top. And now you can see your route on the home screen. Thank you so much for watching this week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comment section below. You know, I really enjoy making these videos for you every week and my goal is to make the content you're looking for. So if you have an idea for a future video, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you know anybody that can benefit from the information we've discussed here today, please share the video with them. I'll see you next week.